Please. We'll be back with uh, Let's Play Sonic 3 and Knuckles. And we're in Angel Zone uh, Part 2. It's actually Zone called two. Zone 2. Two. Yeah. Zone 2, whatever. And we start off with a mini game. Yay! We're actually doing better than we did previous times. Yeah, I know. The times that we messed up. It's because I've been getting a bit more practice. Yes, we did try a Let's Play series before, and it didn't exactly work out due to some mistakes. A lot of them. Yeah. But, and also, I wasn't doing very well on the Chaos Emerald challenges that time. But, I hadn't been playing in, well, several years. But now, I'm getting back on the ball. Most of the time, every level, any game, the spheres go up more, like, the spheres. Mm -hmm. Yeah, probably. More blue spheres. And some of them are really tricky, as I've seen them do. Yes, he's seen all seven regular bonus stages. See, the way to get a perfect on this one is there's those two blue spheres that are kind of like a gate. You have to jump over one or both of them and then collect the rings in the little pin area and then jump back over the red one and get the original blue one. That's how you get a perfect on that level. The water bubble is the only shield that will not be destroyed while going into the water. So are those those hidden springs, or can you do that? No, those are hidden springs. There seems to be a lot of them. There are. Yeah, if I could do a little spring thing any time that I wanted to, the game would be way easier. Oh, a, a more difficult path. Aha, the electricity shield. I got it earlier, but never exactly explained it, so here's the explanation on it. It attracts rings to you. And if you go underwater, you lose it. Yeah. Okay. If you get hit with any shield, there's another one. Well, if, it's, if you're immune to it, then you won't lose a shield. But if you are... If you get hit by a water shooting projectile, the water bubble shield will not be destroyed. If you get, by, if, you get hot by, if you get hit by fire, whenever you're having a fire shield, you will not get hit at all. Okay. If you get hit by an electricity-based substance while having the magnet shield on, you won't get damaged either. And another thing is, if you guys have yet, but whenever you get a checkpoint at that, it's, I think it's when you have a certain amount of rings. Yeah. There's like a thing that appears above it. A little circling stars. Yeah, basically. and if you go in there, it's like a... Uh, another mini game. It doesn't give you chaos armor, but it gives you rings, a shield. It just depends on which mini game it is. There's about three of them. Mm -hmm. There's a, a jackpot a one. A slot machine slot one. Machine. Where you want to go to the center where there's a big thing that will spin around and do like a casino slot and um, depending on what you get you get a different amount of rings sometimes you get no rings other times you get eggmans that take away rings then other times you get a certain symbol that'll give you a number of rings and to lose you just have to get into these flashing lights goal things yeah. and if you go in those you And also, that's the fourth Chaos Emerald. Yeah, I can tell you're doing good. Yeah, because he hadn't seen me beat that minigame yet. And another one is where it looks like a thing where you put like a quarter in or whatever and you get this prize. 
Basically, you start out at the bottom. A, some springs are down there, so they'll spring you up to the top. And then it's kind of like a gumball machine. Yeah. You hit a little spinny thing, and also a little bubble with a symbol will come out of it. Depending on what the symbol is, it'll give you that. If it's a ring, you get ten rings. If it's a one-up, you get, you get a one-up. If it says R-E-P, that means that the springs go back down at the bottom. If, if it has an elemental symbol on it, it's one of the three shields. Is it random? Yes, yes. Okay. If it has nothing in it, you get nothing from it. Is yeah, one. because I got a hundred rings. Did you get hundred or more? Or two hundred. Or two hundred. Yeah, you get one hundred. If you get over two hundred, like three hundred or something, you don't get one. Yeah, it sucks that way, but that's okay. Yeah, right here, all you have to do is keep your thumb on the right part of the control pad. Or control stick, whichever one you're using. Well, you can play this on the game. Well, yeah. Here, Robotnik is about to flame the bridge. Don't be on the bridge while that happens. Or, or else, as Ganon says, you will die. The fire shield is extremely helpful on this boss because, well, just take a look at what his projectiles are. Fire! And before we leave you, we must show you a quick little thing. A glitch. Ooh. You just have to press A, B, or C, or whichever jump button you press, right when he presses the button. And if you're gonna do the rest of the glitch, you do tail story. And also have the little floating thing up there come down a little bit more, fly up on top of it, jump so you go out of the screen boundaries, then fly over to Knuckles. And that's all for today. Join us next time on Hydro City.